I'm Terry Oracle. This is the Fairy Wisdom Oracle. Why am I excited about this? It's a new release. Obviously, I'm going to be excited about it, but it also has 64 cards and a nice book, all for $24.95. As you can see, I bought this directly from U.S. Games, and I am hyped about it. Now, this is by Amy Brown, written by Nancy Brown. So, the ISBN, there's the bottom of the box. Here is the back of the box. So, again, deck and book set. And the artwork on here is just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Again, from U.S. Games. So, let's break this open. I'm all hyped about this thing and find out what is in here. So, the preview of the box looked absolutely amazing as well. So, again, obviously I'm hyped because it's new. Oracle. And that box, look at that box, that hardbound box. That's so nice. That's so nice. Wow, look at the book. Look at the face of that book. That is gorgeous. That is simply stunning. Oh, let's get this out. Oh, nice. It's a hardcover book. Yeah, it's a hardcover book. A nice hardcover book. Let's take a look at the book real quick. Oh, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. Black and white, unfortunately, but still so it looks like everybody gets one page of the card and then one page of the types of uh the types of explanation a chant and a keyword so emotions for that there that's cool all right let's break out the cards look at the bottom there see this is just that is just love and care it, it literally it's what that is when you we put that much detail into the actual box itself. Oh my God, I'm not be able to get this open. All right, so let's take a look at the cards. Move this aside and get nice and focused here on this. You're gonna autofocus. Cool, thank you. All right, so yeah, number one, attitude. I like that. So we go along with the book and sort of look up attitude as well. As you can see, we got a couple of things so there is attitude for example an attitude keyword attitude if you draw an attitude card you can be sure there's a message here for you take a close look at the way you interact with others etc uh, and there's a chant etc so that's how the book sort of correlates with that so that is just stunning look at that look at the colors on that it's so nice card quality here's the back and the card quality is i mean just pretty standard mass market I mean that doesn't have a lot of move at all so that's pretty nice uh, number two coffee break oh look at that look at the watercolor effects look at the watercolor effect on that is stunning what a masterful work I've done watercolor before but while wow, getting that background like that that is stunning work that's stunning work and look at the watercolor effects on that the color matching Oh my god, the color matching on Bad Dragon is so nice. Wow, the colors. Whoever designed this really did a standout job. Really did a standout job. So they're not glossy. They don't reflect. Uh, so it's matte finish. And they feel just like plain, just like plain, uh, plain paper. It feels sort of like uh, a card you would get off of, let's say, uh, shuffled ink, I guess. So there's winter. Look at that. Uh, trillium. When fairies go bad. <laughs> uh, okay. When fairies go bad. Sure. Something wild. I guess that's different from when fairies go bad. They turn something wild. Devotion. Again, the 64 cards. Sorry if it's going to take forever to go through, but still. Wow. Okay, so it looks like we've gone from watercolor effects right here so I, I like the variety I like the variety it's not all watercolor effects you know what I'm saying so you do still have that that feel there but it's not the same type and here wow that's good is that watercolor that is so good that is so good the colors really pop the colors really pop companions discovery look how pretty this is oh my god yeah, that is great. That is so fantastic. Believe, I love that. It's obviously uh, very, oh, it's cute. Rescued, that is so cute. 
And here we're coming back to sort of that watercolorish thing. Overindulgence, I love it. The balancing act. Fairies, okay. Magnolia. The blue fairy. It's more of a purple than a blue fairy. Shaman. My favorite class in World of Warcraft, by the way, Shaman. Green fairy. There we go. Looks sort of like Shaman. Um, yeah, the oldest fairy. Wow, look at this. Look how pretty that is. The source of magic. Wow. And beloved. I love that. I love that with a little, little baby fairy. And the dormouse. Moon secrets. And we'll do a flip proper flip through of this later. I just wanted to uh, sort of take a look at this. The flirt. How cute. Magic frog. And fire dance. Wow, that's cool. I like how they did that. Always. Aw. Summer dragon. Uh, bubble rider. And lighting the way. Sort of like hermit feel, right? So she's staying up on her tiptoes with that hermit type feel there with a lamp. Sort of shining it out and sort of illuminating the place. Pedestal. Hmm. Sort of like lighting the way, just sort of standing on something. The book fairy. Here you go. I love books. Dandelion. So we still have that that modeled watercolor look, but it looks like they just sort of went digital with it. It doesn't look like, like real watercolor, sort of, because we have the same type of patterns. Anyway, caffeine, uh, just sort of knocking one of the cards over. I love it. Fire element. This is a lot of cards. And autumn. Gift revealed. I like it. And ivy. Sorry if I'm going too fast, but this is just a quick look at it. I just want to go through it. And uh, we'll have a flip through while I go slower. Magic fish. I like that. Look at Magic Fist. That looks so good. It looks so good. And Night Light. Very cute. Painting Poppies. Huh, this is sort of interesting. Painting Poppies. So, looks like we just left the watercolor paper and then they just stopped and then put a, an artist on the outside of it. And then one obviously has the, the actual paint. Tattoo Fairy. I like it. I like the variants in the tattoos. Whispers of Spring. The Brat, and Chakra Fairy, Earth Element. Look how pretty that looks. That looks great. That really does look great. Yeah, it does look like a Photoshop texture on the back end. Uh, and then they just sort of use that texture here, but then they uh, drew over it in, um, in, a, in a graphics program. Thinking of You. How cute is that? With a little snail. Trespassers. With the side there. So it's sort of the devil card, I guess, sort of. Water element. Very cool. And reflections. And wild violet. That's nice. I like the colors on that. I really like the texture and the patterns on that. Air element. Uh, wishing you health. Chocolate brownie fairy. There you go. Chocolate brownie fairy. One of my favorite uh, cheats back in the day before I lost the weight. Human Myth. I'm not really sure what that is. Human Myth. Okay. And Home Sweet Home. What a great ending. What a great ending. Home Sweet Home. So let's take a look at the book. Again, we'll have a proper flip through uh, coming tonight. But I wanted to sort of take a look at the book as well and to see what kind of things we got. So the book is... Uh, we have notes in the back. The book is 139 pages. And again, black and white, but it's hardbound. So there's a welcome, and then you have readings, uh, how to begin, past, present, and future layout. So it's a six-card layout. And then your cards. Uh, yeah, your cards. And then it goes straight into the cards. So it's sort of just one spread. So here's a, uh, a sample of the book here. So attitude. If you have drawn the attitude, you can be sure there's a message here for you. Take a close look at the way you interact with others. Stand up for your rights and ideals, etc. etc. It looks like about three paragraphs per card. So that's really cool. And then advice at the bottom, make faces at yourself in the mirror today. And then obviously a black and white uh, version of that. I wish it was color. That really would have rounded out the set. That really would have rounded out the set. Um, and then 
After Home Sweet Home, we have About the Author, Author and About the Artist. So Amy Brown and Nancy Brown. So Nancy Brown is the mother of Amy Brown. Okay. So Nancy Brown did the authoring, and Amy Brown did the uh, the fairy painting and all that stuff. But anyway, what a beautiful set. What a beautiful set. I love the book. I love the box, and I love the cards. This was a great purchase and well worth the 25 bucks in my opinion. Let me know if you like it. And please, as always, hit like and subscribe. Thank you so much for joining me for this awesome unboxing. I can't wait to just sort of read through this book. I'm going to do it right now. I'll see you next time.